Bible, we've got John chapter 8, John chapter 8 and verse 30. As he spake these words, these are the words of the Lord Jesus Christ, many believed on him. And that's my prayer unto the Lord, that you will believe on the Lord Jesus Christ right now. As you listen to this message, that you would get right with God, that you would have forgiveness for your sins through faith in the Lord Jesus Christ. You see, there's no other way to be in heaven. The Lord Jesus Christ said in John 14 and verse 6, look it up, I am the way, the truth, and the life. No man cometh unto the Father but by me. So it's important we listen to the word of God, to the Bible. You see, faith cometh by hearing, and hearing by the word of God. So this is why we as gospel preachers come out and preach the gospel of Jesus Christ from the word of God, the Bible. You know, if I say words of my own, you can just disregard it. When we're speaking from the word of God, you need to sit up and take listen uh, and take notice of it. Because it's very really important what God has to say. And what God has to say is the fact that we are sinners in the sight of the Lord. And we need salvation for those sins. Without that salvation, we're heading down to hell, and God does not want that for you, my friend. That's why I come here this afternoon to bring you the message of hope and salvation through Jesus Christ alone. There's no other way of salvation. Yes, as he spake these words, many believed on him. Then said Jesus to those Jews which believed on him, If ye continue in my word, then are ye my disciples indeed. And ye shall know the truth, and the truth shall make you free. So we see here, to be free, we need to become a disciple of Jesus Christ. We need to put our faith in him, and follow him. And ye shall know the truth, and the truth shall make you free. Surely you want to be free. Surely you want to have freedom. You know, we have a world that's crying out for freedom. Especially when you think that over there in the States, they're very big on freedom. And that's fine, that's fair enough. God wants us to be free. But the only way we can be free is be cut by becoming a disciple of Jesus Christ. And you know, you and I can have the freedom to serve God. You see, you and I cannot serve God in our unsaved state without faith in Christ. We've got to be born again. Said to man be born again, he cannot see the kingdom of God. So you've got to put your faith in the Lord Jesus Christ to become a child of God. For you are all the children of God by faith in Christ Jesus. So if you put your faith in the Lord Jesus Christ, you will become a child of God. And no, we're not all God's children. We're only God's children after being born again. You must be born again. Yes, it says here, they answered him, we be Abraham's seed. In other words, we're Jews by nationality, by birth, and we're never in bondage to any man. How sayest thou, ye shall be made free? Jesus answered them, Verily, verily, or truly, truly, I say unto you, Whosoever committeth sin is the servant of sin, or slave of sin, if you like. And the servant abideth not in the house forever, but the Son abideth ever. If your Son, therefore, shall make you free, ye shall be free indeed. I know that ye are Abraham's seed, in other words, you are Jews by birth, but ye seek to kill me, because my word hath no place in you. I speak that which I have seen with my father, and ye do that which ye have seen with your father. They answered and said unto him, Abraham is our father. Jesus said unto them, If ye were Abraham's children, ye would do the works of Abraham. But now ye seek to kill me, a man that hath told you the truth, which I have heard of God. This did not Abraham. Ye do the deeds of your father. Then said they to him, We be not born of fornication, we have one Father, even God. So these people thought, because they were born Jews, that they were the children of God. Wrong. You know, even if you're a Jew by birth, you're not God's children. You're not a child of God until you've been born again. And this holds true for every nationality upon earth. Whether you're a Jew or a Gentile, 
We must be born again. That's an absolute essential to be able to enter into heaven. You see, we've got to have forgiveness for our sins. And the only way is through the blood of the Lord Jesus Christ, my friend. Lord Jesus Christ shed his precious blood upon the cross, in whom we have redemption, through his blood even, the forgiveness of sins. Yes, Jesus said unto them, If God were your Father, you would love me. For I proceeded forth and came from God. In other words, he came down from heaven. Neither came I of myself, but he sent me. See, the Father sent the Son to be the Saviour of the world. But is he your Saviour? You need to make him yours personally. Yes, he's available for the whole world to be saved. But unfortunately, the whole world will not be saved because they will not come in repentance toward God, that is, a change of mind, simply agree with God that you are a sinner, and then put your faith in the Lord Jesus Christ and your soul will be saved. Yes, unfortunately, most people will remain in a lost condition, heading down to hell because their sins have not been forgiven. But I'm here to tell you this other, that you need to get right with God. You need to put your faith in the Lord Jesus Christ to become a child of God. Have forgiveness for your sins and actually have power over sin by means of the indwelling Holy Spirit. The Holy Spirit comes to dwell within your body the moment you are saved, the moment you put your faith in the Lord Jesus Christ. Yes, Jesus said unto them, if, you, if God were your father, you would love me, for I proceeded forth and came from God. Neither came I of myself, but he sent me. Why do you not understand my speech, even because ye cannot hear my word? Ye are of your father the devil, and the lust of your father ye will do. He was a murderer from the beginning, and abode not in the truth, because there is no truth in him. When he speaketh a lie, he speaketh of his own, for he is a liar and the father of it. See here that the devil invented lies, my friend. You know, let God be true, but every man a liar. So we need to understand we're guilty of sin before the Lord. It doesn't matter what sort of sin we've done, we're all guilty of sin in that sense. Well, it does in terms of uh, punishment, but the point is this, for all have sinned and come short of the glory of God. Obviously, there are some sins worse than others. That's obvious. But we need to understand that God says, for all have sinned and come short of the glory of God. And because of that, we're heading down to hell by default. God does not want that for you, my friend. That's why the Father sent the Son to be the Saviour of the world. But is He your Saviour? You need to put your faith in Him. As an individual before God, admit the fact that, yes, I realise that I am a sinner. But thy Son has died for me upon the cross. Then all you simply need to do is put your faith in the Lord Jesus Christ and God promises you everlasting life. For whosoever shall call upon the name of the Lord shall be saved. And because I tell you the truth, you believe me not. Which of you convinceth me of sin? In other words, who can point the finger at the Lord Jesus Christ and say with sin? in any way, shape or form, in thought, word or deed, is absolutely perfect. That sets him apart from you and I. You and I, when we're born in this world, we're sinners. We're tarred with sin. You know, and we're heading down to hell as a result of those sins. But God wants to forgive you of all of your sins. He wants to make you into a saint. He wants to give you his righteousness, and then he can call you a saint. You will be given the righteousness of God by faith in the Lord Jesus Christ. Yes, which of you convinceth me of sin, and if I say the truth, why do you not believe me? He that is of God heareth God's words. 
Ye therefore hear them not, because ye are not of God. Then answered the Jews and said unto him, Say we not well that thou art a Samaritan and hast a demon? Jesus answered, I have not a demon, but I honour my Father, and ye do dishonour me. And I seek not mine own glory, there is one that seeketh and judgeth. Verily, verily, or truly, truly, I say unto you, if a man keep my saying, he shall never see death. Then said the Jews unto him, Now we know that thou hast a demon. Abraham is dead, and the prophets. And thou sayest, If a man keep my saying, he shall never taste of death. Art thou greater than our father Abraham, which is dead? And the prophets are dead. Who makest thou thyself? Jesus answered, If I honour myself, my honour is nothing. It is my Father that honoureth me, of whom ye say that he is your God. Yet ye have not known him, but I know him, and if I should say I know him not, I shall be a liar like unto you. But I know him, and keep his saying. Your father Abraham rejoiced to see my day, and he saw it, and was glad. Then said the Jews unto him, Thou art not yet fifty years old, and hast thou seen Abraham? Jesus said unto them, Verily, verily, I say unto you, or truly, truly, I say unto you, Before Abraham was, I am. Yes, he's the great I am of the Old Testament, my friend. He's the eternal, self-existent God. See, God created all things by Jesus Christ. And before Abraham was, I am, he said. And so we need to understand, the Lord Jesus Christ is not only the Saviour, and he wants to be your Saviour this afternoon, but he's the great I am, am of eternity past. The one who came into this scene, came onto this scene, and he lived the perfect life that you and I could never ever live. Then he died the perfect sacrificial death upon the cross of Calvary for you and for me. He took our place as the divine substitute on the cross of Calvary, shedding his precious blood for you and for me. That blood still has the power to wash your sins away, my friend. Are you right with God? Have you put your faith in the Lord Jesus Christ? Yes, your father Abraham rejoiced to see my day, and he saw it and was glad. Then said the Jews unto him, that Thou art not yet fifty years old, and hast thou seen Abraham? Jesus said unto them, as I said, Verily, verily, or truly, truly, I say unto you, Before Abraham was, I am. In other words, he existed before Abraham came onto this earth and was born. So we need to understand, the Lord Jesus Christ is the eternal, self-existent God who created all things for his pleasure and his honour and his glory. We were created for the pleasure of God, that we might worship him and glorify him upon the earth. And the only one who did that fully is our Lord Jesus Christ. And he is the one that you've got to come to know as your saviour. You know, if you put your faith in the Lord Jesus Christ, your soul be saved. You'll have peace with God. Like the Bible says in Romans 5 verse 1, Therefore, being justified by faith, we have peace with God through our Lord Jesus Christ. And as soon as he said, Verily, verily, I say unto you, Before Abraham was, I am, then took they up stones to cast at him, but Jesus hid himself and went out of the temple, going through the midst of them, and so passed by. Why? Because his hour had not yet come. The hour of his crucifixion had not yet come. You see, the Lord Jesus Christ couldn't die any old death. He had to die by crucifixion. He had to be crucified upon the cross in great love for you and for me. For God so loved the world 
that he gave his only begotten Son, that whosoever believeth in him should not perish but have everlasting life. For God sent not his Son into the world to condemn the world, but that the world through him might be saved. He that believeth on him, that is on Jesus Christ, is not condemned. But he that believeth not is condemned already, because he hath not believed in the name of the only begotten Son of God. Have you put your faith in Christ? Are you a child of God? Just come this afternoon in repentance toward God. As I said, that's a change of mind. Simply agree with God that you are a sinner. And then place your faith in the Lord Jesus Christ. And God promises you everlasting life. For whosoever shall call upon the name of the Lord shall be saved. In whom we have redemption. Through his blood even. The forgiveness of sins. If you're interested in this, look me up. YouTube.com forward slash peace by Jesus Christ. God bless you. Thanks for listening. Thanks for watching. Have a great night.